Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with it at age 21. He was told he'd be dead within 10, two years. He lived another 55 years. Doctors don't know everything, you know. Um, but there's been studies on ALS patients. They're extraordinarily nice. So um, there was a, from the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, a major referral clinic, two neurologists published a paper at an international ALS or motor neuron congress. Why are ALS patients so nice? And what they described was that when people came to their office for diagnosis before they met the physician, they had underwent EDX electrodiagnostic testing of their nerves. And the technicians who performed the tests would write on the side of the test, this person can't have ALS, she's not nice enough. Or I'm afraid this person has ALS, they're too nice. And the physicians, the neurologist specialists said, despite the shortness of their contact with their patients and the obviously unscientific nature of their observations, invariably they turned out to be right. And then I called Dr. Wilburn, who did this study, and I said, what did the other, therap what did the other neurologists say when you presented this? They said, I said, yeah, we all noticed this. We just can't explain it. Since then, there's been a study where they've asked neurologists about their patients, and the answer is, all our ALS patients are extraordinarily nice. Now, what the neurologists don't do is they don't make the connection. That, that, re that, 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 that niceness is a repression of healthy anger, and that repression of healthy anger plays a role in the onset of that disease. So it's not an accidental connection.